Wunderbar. Are we ready to view? Oh, a minute to explore. This is a piece that I painted after a love making session with Vin Diesel himself. I felt the urge to paint. And this is what I came up with. The almond breeze re represents my milk. Milk me vigorously. The pheasant represents sexuality. Next piece is very hot. This piece was inspired by a sunset. You can see what I was thinking when I was looking over the pyramids of Mexico. <laughs> uh, they do. That is where the Egyptians did create the pyramids. Educate yourself. Because Lego is a capitalist company. So you aren't just an artist, but you're also a teacher. There are many indigenous people who worship me as a god slash goddess. Piece number three. This piece was when I was in my sensory deprivation tank. I have five sensory deprivation tanks. Five? For each of the senses. Which sense was it that you were deprived of? My eyes. All right. So I painted this piece blind. We're not the BBC. What? You know, really, the TV channel. Yeah. I thought you were baby sir. It represents man, the patriarchy. Man struggle against nipples. We get close up on the nipple. Why do we have them? And what about the bit here where he's being torn apart? This watermelon bridge. He's not being torn apart. He's being put back together. No, this is over here. This is a piece I call Innocence. Are we not all amphibians at heart? I identify as amphibian. Why so green? Why so lost? Frog spawn. Are we not all? That was so profound. How many artists have tried to capture God? I'm asking you a genuine question. How many artists have tried to capture the face of God? Perfectly! God. The curtains represent that life is but a play. Is that Satan? No! This is Terry. Do you have any questions about the face of God? You cannot question God. Who the hell is Sia? She sang Chandelier. Well, I am a Sia. After the pepperoni of 2020, I had a vision of 2021. This is the future. Because what do you see? A bit of a mess, I suppose. Do we not all see a bit of a mess? That's beautiful. I know. Dedicated to the Oompa Loompas in the Wizard of Oz. What? What the Oompa Loompas in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Now they were in the Wizard of Oz. Edifice yourself. The Mona Oompa Loompa. <laughs> the Mona Oompas. The Mona Oompas. Mona Oompas. She was green, was she not? The witch. She was. She was. She was different. Uniqueness. Why did you do that? <laughs> because no one appreciates uniqueness. Uniqueness is thrown out the door. I am not prejudiced against green people. Uh -huh. Freckles. Just Boris Johnson. Oh, Bojo himself was interpretive dancing. Who well, the other? The other night, he came to my boudoir, naked, slumped in mayo. Excellent, excellent, excellent. It represents the people's voice, politics, democracy. The scream to be heard. Rearrange egg mayonnaise. Can you hear them? And the line. <laughs> I call this metamorphosis. This. This is your recovery story. It's very brave of you to put this out here. Can we cut for a moment? To become the beautiful butterfly. This represents my struggle. I, me, I, I, me, me, me. Something that people would want to put in their mouths. 
would want to consume. I is a terrible letter, is a greedy letter. I have petitioned to the parliamentary government. I want to eradicate the letter I. You should write a book. I have. It's available on Amazon for $5.99. This is the pizza resort. Pizza re <coughs> Christ. Pizza what? Pizza resistance. Come on, brother, I don't have all day. The most important or remarkable feature. This is the pizza resistance. And when I met Harry Styles. You met Harry Styles? I dated him. <laughs> For three days. What about this piece makes you think of Harry Styles? This monster represents my inner monster! When One Direction were five directions. Just there are five points on a compass. Jesus, my weave. Thank you, Mariska. Fuck <laughs> 